desperate. Uh, they, they have a pattern that they have to try to work, and they're going to turn up the heat any way that they can. So I, I don't doubt that they'll do that. Do you want to explain to the listeners what the Bluebeam Project is? Well, actually, it's been they've been doing this for quite some time now. And, uh, I, you know, from the occult standpoint, it's kind of amazing, too, because they're using the um, – they're, they're drawing upon the power from the astral plane. It's not just technology. We're talking about – the, the spiritual involvement in technology. And, you know, they get into all these, the vortexes, the weather control, uh, atmospheric antics. It's okay, really we'll be back after this three-minute break. Stay tuned to the Power Hour. This is Joyce Riley. Stay tuned. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Welcome back to the Power Hour, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us today. For those of you who have been trying to get your email questions through, my email is shut down for right now for whatever reason. I don't know. So I cannot get your emails, and I do apologize to Wanda if you're trying to get them through to me. We've got a lot of callers on the line that want to talk to uh, our pastor, David J. Meyer, today. LastTrumpetMinistries.org. Please go to the website. Check it out. There are all the old back newsletters, and you're going to see some real Excellence in journalism, if you go there. Uh, David J. Meyer writes very well, as well as he speaks on the air, and there's just too much information for us to even cover in two hours. So we're going to have to do this again, if the pastor is willing to join us again. We were talking about, um, uh, Chuck in Virginia wanted to know about all the holiday, I mean, about all of the major disasters that have occurred, Columbine, Fort Hood, all those things. And you said, yes, that uh, that is related. You feel that all of those are related. And I know we had another question we need to answer before we go on, which is about, Josh wanted to know about daylight savings time. Oh, Bluebeam. Oh, so I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Before we go any further, let's finish. I lost track. Uh, Operation Bluebeam. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that actually has been going on for quite a number of years. And and the the technology that is, is being used is satanic. I wanted to make that point very clear that a lot of this, that uh, is even harp and all that sort of thing, this is not just technology. This is demonic-controlled, demonic-fired technology, you might say. Uh, I've been in touch with a, a Marine sergeant who actually watches these, watches various unidentified flying objects come out of the ground near the Y-12 plant at Oak Ridge and flying saucers. Okay, we have that technology, but mm-hmm. it's it's demonically driven. Uh, there are witch covens in Ohio that cast spells, and right after they cast spells, there's all these sightings of UFOs. So there's a there's a connection here. Their evil spirits are very real, and they get into these scientists, and the things that they come up with, uh, whether it be Harp or Project Blue Beam atmospheric antics of all kinds, manifestations in the sky, controlling people uh, from these various positions, it's, it's very, very demonic. So, yes, that's, uh, that's how it works. Okay, and then the question about uh, Josh had about daylight savings time, we far got to cover that when we were covering calendars. Uh, is daylight savings time have anything to do with what we're talking about here? Well, daylight savings time is interesting because Benjamin Franklin, who was a member of the Hellfire Society in Boston, headquartered in England, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Ben Franklin had, this is kind of amazing, but he had 57 children from 17 different women. Uh, He admitted this in his autobiography. But uh, he was not a wonderful person, and uh, he was a member of this Hellfire Society. So what he did is... Traditionally, daylight savings time started at the beginning of May at Beltane. When the days were getting longer, he did this in honor of the sun god. And then it changed back at Halloween time, which is another Sabbath. And you set your clocks back. You'd spring ahead, you'd fall back. And right on those two Sabbaths is, now they changed it uh, later on, a number of years ago. It, so it starts in March. But... Traditionally, it was Beltane to Halloween. See, each one of these Sabbaths is 13. Each each quarter, cross-quarter Sabbath are 13 weeks apart. 
each Sabbath of six and a half weeks, forming a total of 52. It's easier to do on a chalkboard, <laughs> but, I see. but that's uh -huh. basically how it works. Okay. Uh, Ray in Texas, call back again. We lost you. Robert in Mississippi, you're on the air. Go ahead, please, Robert. I wanted to say that, uh, you know, uh, all witches' traditions are not the same as what you're saying. You're not correct in saying that, you know, this is completely um, the way that everyone who's a witch is. And you're talking about somebody else's religion and causing them uh, a lot of trouble out in, you know, in the world. We're all Americans, and we want all Americans, you know, to be together against this satanic force, which is different than witchcraft and different than paganism. Okay, there are Robert, many, many different what, one, uh, denominations Robert, Robert, of let me paganism just ask you. and witchcraft. Robert, let me ask you, what is your religion? I prefer not to say. I, well, I mean, that's you. okay. You can say it because, that, I mean, we're not going to uh, label you or anything. I mean, I just am curious what perspective you're speaking from here. Well, I uh, I am not Christian. But okay. I, I would like to, do you feel like uh, that you're a Christian? Do well, I? Don't, I don't use the term Christian personally. I, I, I'm a believer in the church. No, the man. This man. To uh, uh, Pastor David J. Meyer. Well, I'll tell you, the word Christian means Christ-like, and I've got a long way to go to be that. But, but uh, let me ask you. If why, no, no, if why, why are you not talking about Christianity instead of paganism and witchcraft? Well, I do that all the time. My, my main thrust is Christianity. Well, you should work on the splinter in your own eye before you try to remove the splinter from someone else's eye. Okay, but he I was involved talking, in it. I, I think I'm talking to a Wiccan here. Okay, are you a Wiccan, uh, yes. Robert? Yes, all right, yes. Okay, okay, define Wiccan for us. Let me, first of all, I'm going to let the pastor define it, then I'm going to let you define it. What is a Wiccan, pastor? Well, I don't know what level he's at, but I can tell you Wiccan basically worships nature, the forces of nature. Uh, they believe they can, they can harness those forces for good, uh, and uh, most of them claim that that's all they do, but there are those that harness them for evil as well. And that, that's, well, there are uh, people who harness Christianity for evil. Come well, on now, be fair. Let's not, no. let's not wash uh, okay, your all right. hand now, let me, not wash other people's okay, hands. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to give you a fair shake, Robert. Let me go back to Robert. Robert, what is your definition of Wiccan? <clears throat> uh, anybody who observes nature and uh, the... Uh, signs and omens of nature and goes by them and believes in them. Because the, the, when you look at a piece of paper, you're not looking at, uh, you know, the true words of a god. You're looking at the words that a man has written down. Now, let's talk about Christianity. Pastor, are you willing to do that? All right. Sure. Look, okay, but we don't have a whole lot of time. I'll give you as much time okay, as I I'll can. Okay, I'll get one question. How many generations are there from Abraham to Jesus? Uh, Josh said you know. Fourteen. Is what? Is that correct? Fourteen? Okay, Josh yeah, said. right. Mm -hmm. No, the Bible says. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is there 33? No, no, no. It's from uh, Abraham to, is it David is 14, and then from David Okay, I spoke without Right, that. yeah, there's divisions of 14, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to be 33, right? Well, no. you know, well, the, okay, uh, where are you in, going in the with beginning it? of the, the gospel there, give us the list of the generations to Jesus. Okay, and, but what's your point? The point is, count them. How many of you have counted them? They're not 33 generations. There is no direct lead linkage from Abraham to Jesus. Now, here you are out there uh, criticizing someone else's religion when you don't know your own. Well, actually, you're wrong about that. No, you're, I'm you're, right. You're, I have done it. No, you're I have correct. pointed it out to many other pastors, and they have had to get out their little book and count those names, count those generations. There are not 33 generations from Abraham to Jesus. Okay, are you using that to disprove the Scripture then? Is that what you're saying, Robert? I'm, I'm, I'm saying that you need to work on your own religion and stop criticizing and make life hard on uh, 
minority religions, which you know nothing about. Well, Wiccan, because the Wiccan so religion many traditions is... out there, you can't know all these people. Okay, I thank you very much, Robert, for your phone call, and I, I really respect you for calling in and wanting to to say your piece. Uh, go ahead, Pastor. Thank you very I'm much. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, the Wiccan religion isn't necessarily minority religion anymore. It's the fastest growing religion in the United States. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay.